Hey there, everybody. Um, it's been a few days since I've uploaded any videos for you, and because it's been pretty darn crazy around this house. I'm about um, eight or nine days away from school starting, elementary school for four of my kids, and then another 16 days before preschool and daycare starts. So it's been a little rough trying to find some time to make videos and do all this stuff. But I have um, managed to get to, hi Erin, I have managed to get to a couple of thrift stores this week. I know I shouldn't be sourcing, but I, you know, who's not going to source? I love sourcing. And I've hit three different thrift stores this week. I went to the bins twice, I think, maybe twice. Didn't find much at the bins this week. And I went to Salvation Army and I went to a Goodwill and I got some pretty good stuff, stuff for resale, most of the stuff for resale and a couple of things for the kids and for me. Um, so I'm going to start out with what I got at the bins, mostly purses this time. I found this nice little canvas corduroy fossil bag. And what I like about this one is that, where did you go, buddy? There it is. It still has the key and the little bird keychain attached. So that's going to up the value. It's also in very, very good condition. I just have to get it cleaned up a little bit. Fossil purse, crossbody too, and convertible. It's great, I love it, fossil. This one, probably not worth much, but it is a straw bag with leather accents and it is by Monsac, Monsac, yeah. And I just liked it, it's got, oh, it's not straw, it's raffia, 100% raffia and lined with zipper pockets and all that. Really great shape, really cute. Don't even have to clean it that much. It's really cute, I like that one. Um, also this vintage Diane von Furstenberg tapestry bag with, I hardly ever find weekender bags. Adam, you need to go over there, please. Thank you. I uh, very, very rarely find weekender bags with their long straps still attached, but it's got everything attached, a little loose threads here and there, but it's got nice tapestry and really fun vintage Diane von Furstenberg. Now, a couple of pieces of clothing I found at the bins. First one, I just liked for fall. These are great for like photographs and stuff. Um, it's Abercrombie and Fitch, which admittedly I do not like picking up, but I liked this piece. Yeah. Um, real, real shaggy faux fur vest. This is an extra small. I actually found Lululemon at the bins, crazy. I did look up the name, but I had forgotten what the name is. It's this little, um, just workout shirt with the mesh at the bottom in layers. Light blue, no, light blue, navy blue. There's that, full tag still attached. This one I really liked. I heard that velvet is gonna be really in for fall this year. This is a very deep blue, almost black, but definitely blue, you can tell in the light. J. Crew. it is a velvet little peplum blazer in size eight fully lined of course just really cute and in fantastic condition that's adorable okay so that's actually oh nope these happy and free these are by the, the sack these are um i definitely need to clean them up they are strongly discolored i think a little magic eraser will take care of that but these are the sack just boots some nice little rain boots I don't know what size though. It's all worn off. Whoops, does it say? Size eight. That's my size, but I don't really use rain boots, so I'll sell those. That was all I got at the bins. Okay, I'm gonna head up to Goodwill. This is the one I hit Friday. I found some really good stuff here. A couple, a little Eileen Fisher, like a linen blend long sleeve scoop neck. Size, oh, this is a petite. Small, petite small. Sorry, you can hear the kids in the background, they're crazy. Now I did sell one of these. My first sale on Poshmark was this style of Lily Pulitzer shirt. It was in hot pink. This one is navy blue with the gold buttons. Size small, 100% silk, long sleeve blouse, Lily Pulitzer. <laughs> Row and D. 
I pick up a few of these here and there. The comps always look good. I don't have any of them listed yet, but I think I have three pieces now. This is a rayon oversized bell sleeve tunic top by Rowan D. It's size large. Cashmere. <laughs> no red dots on this cashmere. Um, size large, cashmere by Charter Club, two ply, no holes, always check for holes. I left several pieces at Goodwill because they had holes in them. But this one is in great shape. It's green, it's size large, doesn't seem to be shrunken at all. Three quarter sleeve, I hope they're three quarter sleeve and not shrunken. <laughs> but I'll get this cleaned up and shaved and softened and all that good stuff and it should sell pretty well. The cashier at Goodwill told me that the Goodwills in my area are going to start pulling all of the cashmere items and putting them on their shop Goodwill site. So that's going to be fun. I was like, okay, good, whatever. Um, logo, Lori Goldstein. A logo lounge, long sleeve, 1X, black top. It's got these zippers and little lace insets on the sides. Surprisingly, no pockets. Lori Goldstein usually has pockets on them. But you gotta love that. I love Lori Goldstein. So really well on eBay. This one is Carlisle. This is the first Carlisle piece I've ever picked up. I've been inspired to pick up Carlisle by a few other resellers who say it does well. This is just a beautiful, kind of heavyweight sweater-ish. It's not like a sweater, it's a top. Rayon nylon and spandex, but it's real thick, really good quality. Nice detailed neckline, it's a boat neck, three quarter sleeve, just a black top. Really pretty. I hope that does well. Um, also at Goodwill, let's see. I found a Gorin Brothers straw hat. I have a wool hat still that I need to list that's really, really cute. It's like a, it's like a cloche, really pretty. But this is just a little straw hat, really cute, little fedora type, Gorin Brothers. Comps are good, and it's cute. Uh, Cole Haan, snakeskin, sling back heels, seven and a half B, really, really cute. I paid six for these guys, but they're in great shape. I did the bend test, everything looks good, the bottoms look good, there's no wear. Uh, the next few things are for me and my family. First, I've got this little bell. It's not actually a bell, it's a music box by Kurt Steiff. And it plays Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. But I just really like that for my added decor. I like little music boxes. They're fun. This one is just spoke to me. Because I said so. I say that so often that my four-year-old son is actually starting to say, Because I said so when I ask him why. It's really funny. And a little annoying. <laughs> a couple shirts I picked up for the family. Where is that one? Where'd it go? There it is. Ah. For my four-year-old. Cute little car. Um, all these sizes are um, 99 cents. These are for my six-year-old. Soft pants, they call them. They don't wear jeans. Soft pants has got to be it. The rest are for my daughter because she's the only girl I have and I don't have a lot of hand-me-downs for her. So Goodwill's wear is that for that. 99 cents a piece. Little pair of purple sweatpants. The rest are shirts because she's growing and I need more shirts. Found a lot with kitties on them. Meow. Color me happy. This is cute, another cute one. This one's H&M, cute little cat. And of course, it wouldn't be for my daughter if I didn't find some Peppa Pig. You know how we love Peppa. Sparkle and shine, it says. So cute. Okay, um, the rest of the stuff I found at Salvation Army. It was green tags, 50% off this week. And I found some good stuff. I'm gonna start with these shoes, excuse me a minute. Okay, so first I found some little slides, Seychelles, and they're kind of like a croc embossed leather, and I paid five for these actually because they were not tag color of the week, but five dollars for Seychelles, not bad, and they're in really great shape. 
Um, Badgley Mishka, Jewel by Badgley Mishka. These really lovely, um, heavily jeweled. I paid $3 for these because they were color of the week, priced at six, so $3. Really good shape, really cute. I've been considering maybe sending these to consignment, but I don't know, maybe I'll try to sell them myself. Cute. All right, first things first, a couple Eileen Fishers. Eileen Fisher. Um, it was priced at two, so I got it at one. 100% rayon, size medium. Just a little tank. This is an Eileen Fisher. This is the older label, but that's fine. I paid $2 for this since it was 50% off. Little button up women. Very cute. Classics, end here. I did pay full price at $2, but it's 100% silk, little cowl neck tank. This looks great underneath the blazer. It would actually go really, really good with that. It was a size small, so it would go well with that J. Crew velvet blazer. If I were a size small, I'd try that on. Gotta clean it up, but it's cute and I like it. I don't think I would have picked this up had it not been 50% off. It was $7, so $3.50. It's uh, RYU Rue. Is that how you say it? It's this. Um, I think it's a wool blend little, just a pretty detailed jacket. Look at that. Really cute. I thought that was cute for fall items. Um, Dolan. Half off, so this was $1.50. It's got this silk embellishment down the front. It's just a simple high-low tank. It's not high-low, it's a simple gray tank with the pretty silk waterfall ribbons down the front. Very cute. Small. Of course, it's all small. Nothing fits me. <laughs> I found Moth Anthropology piece. It's a nice orange. Fabulous for fall, always. Uh, but Moth size... Guess it. Small. <laughs> I did find out the name of this. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it should be a pretty easy sell. Ribbon in the back. Clean it up, steam it. It'll sell right. Great. I still haven't looked this one up, but I liked it, so I grabbed it. It's a big Buddha, really loose fitting, boxy type. It's a um, poncho type shirt with these buttons on the side, underneath the sleeve really great to throw over something and stay warm it's got a little shimmer to it maybe I'll keep it I don't know but I liked it it was cute another jacket that I bought pretty much for color and style this is a Martin and Osa I got it for 350 beautiful orange little trench double breasted trench coat very cute little belt in the back really great shape that's awesome. I don't remember the size. You are a medium. Maybe I can pull that off. I didn't try it on yet. And last but not least, I found a pair of Miss Me jeans. Yay! I did pay full price at $6, but that was, I thought that was reasonable for Miss Me. They're in good shape. They are a, a intentionally distressed style. Love that. The cuffs were perfect. No distressing or wear on the cuffs, really. And I really like the back pockets, how they look like they're torn and they've got the little stars and accents inside. And of course, all the big old jewels miss me. You are the, what's a boot cut, size 27. Yeah, miss me, love it. So that's everything I found this week, um, minus a couple little plush Garys from SpongeBob SquarePants. I've got those for the kids because they've got SpongeBob, they've got Squidward, they've got Patrick. They didn't have any any Gary, so I found those at the bins and they were like nothing, so I grabbed those. <laughs> Lots of fun. But yeah, thrifting is always fun. I've added a little more to my death pile, more than I have resolved, but hopefully as things go, I can and as the kids get back to school, I can get a little more done and make some headway on this whole office death pile that I've got going on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.